as a phone option and um, after getting on comments um, on my previous youtube video um, i try to right now i'm trying to uh, explain uh, the another um, 100 questions on a on a second chapter of ugc net physical education subject so here are the questions uh, you can see uh, uh, okay here is uh, the misuse by the canadian athlete dane johnson okay 1988 olympic game uh, is using this drug anabolic steroid so uh, he's a he's a he's an athlete okay so uh, here the option are diuretic with narcotic anal analgesis so anabolic steroid why we should try to understand why anabolic steroid here the anabolic steroid also known more properly as anabolic androgenic genetic genic steroid are estro estrodial uh, uh, androgens that includes natural androgens like testosterone you, you uh, take it the, the the name of the hormone testosterone as well as synthetic androgens that are structurally related and have similar effect to testosterone so uh, the sim the, the 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 effect of the um, the hormone testosterone like uh, increasing muscle okay uh, the size of the muscle okay the lots of and uh, very uh, effect uh, i think was i think uh, um, increase the performance mm. so that's the drug okay another next question one set of blood uh, lactate accumulation and uh, here O B L A that the the short form one set O in one set of blood um, lactate accumulation is also known as anaerobic threshold. Okay, the right answer is anaerobic threshold. You have to <coughs> anaerobic threshold. So anaerobic threshold. Okay, uh, first we try to understand is a very uh, basic uh, on very basic um, uh, knowledge. Um, the anaerobic threshold is the is the exertion, okay, level between aerobic and anaerobic training. At the anaerobic threshold, the anaerobic threshold is the point. You should understand the point during exercise when your body must switch from anaerobic to anaerobic metabolism the anaerobic threshold is a useful measure for deciding exercise intensity for training and racing in endurance sports so here is an anaerobic threshold and a lactate threshold also called a lactate threshold here are a lot of things here also mentioned the you can see obla okay um, so one set of okay what is you know, known as lactic threshold and non-linear increase of co2 here an uh, arterial lactate level of 4 ml per lit liter known as um, onset of lactate accumulation okay onset of lactate accumulation oblm so here some um, um, that's uh, m m answer related concept are there so okay, the next question which of the following is a narcotic? Yeah, here is the answer, morphine. Okay, uh, if you um, try to know the, uh, okay, morphine. Morphine is a uh, pain medication of the opioid family that is found naturally in a number of plants and animals, including humans. Okay, so it's a uh, soluble water and alcohol. Mm, in the boiling point here also mentioned and okay lots of there their formula also here okay it's a it's a what type of uh, drug narcotic okay 
heartrate is defined as as number of heart contraction per minute we all know okay the number of heart contraction okay number of diastole contraction no this is uh, okay number of heart contraction per minute this is called heart rate okay next question number five during heavy exercise the supply of the blood increase okay supply of the blood increase towards the, uh, we know, all know the the energy uh, coming from the glucose uh, and the type of substances directly and and uh, during a heavy exercise we need a lot of uh, uh, lot of uh, energy and uh, and uh, for the metabolism we also need um, oxygen if it is an um, aerobic uh, anaerobic metabolism is happening there so skeletal muscle um, is the most um, important part of that time uh, taking the um, important role so we um, we can understand easily during heavy exercise uh, supply of the blood uh, increase towards the skeletal muscle okay which of the following is carried out carried uh, by the blood okay we all know carried um, is a uh, enzyme oxygen hormones and a lot of things are also um, also um, glucose also okay so next question first uh, increases of muscles uh, muscle mass following uh, resistance work particularly heavy weight training is called muscular hypertrophy okay we muscular hypertrophy okay so here yes muscular hypertrophy trophy involves an increase in size of the skeletal muscle through a growth growth in size of the component cell okay its component cell two factors contribute the hypertrophy okay sarcoplasmic hypertrophy which focus more on increase uh, muscle glycogen stress and that means uh, muscle glycogen storage is increased and myofibril hypertrophy which focus on the increase of myofibril size okay in number of myofibril doesn't increase it's you should understand okay only uh, the increase of muscle fibril size okay muscle fibril size increase and also there the glycogen storage increase of muscle glycogen storage okay so go next question and if okay anabolic steroid effect directly anabolic steroid we or uh, previously we, we uh, discussed about it okay anabolic steroid is di is uh, is uh, directly um, affect muscles okay if i ms stand for it's a bit because you you know try to remember that in that answer okay fiber fiber uh, type having greater number of mitochondria and high high concentration of myoglobin is <clears throat> so fiber type what is the type if they are slow to uh, twist uh, muscle fiber fiber fast twist medium type they are so so uh, uh, which is the right answer and their um, number of mitochondria and high concentration of myoglobin mitochondria is a powerhouse of a cell and um, uh, myoglobin myoglobin also i think um, the uh, it is a benefit the globe uh, hemoglobin i, I think um, and it's uh, is help to um, to supply oxygen okay uh, so um, the slow twist muscle is the right answer why slow twist muscle because people have two general types skeletal muscle fiber slow twist and fast twist slow twist muscle help enable to long durance uh, fit such as distance running so so slow twist muscle actually use uh, uh, i think more potential than fast twist muscle to um, uh, to uh, to um, to um, to product the the energy by the uh, aerobic metabolism system using me by, um, um, aerobic metabolism system so if we um, um getting uh, energy uh, for long time long duration time uh, so um, mitochondria 
is the powerhouse and aerobic um, capability aerobic metabolism are directly help on this uh, in on this type of exercise okay so it's clear and the other hand the fast twist muscle um, fast but use it in a powerful uh, fast movement of, of uh, like a sprinting event that's clear okay next question okay <clears throat> i have to go fast okay drag and uh, that increase muscle bulk and extra power for the muscle contraction are androgenic steroid androgenic steroid okay the next question soft, softness of the bone is known as osteomalacia osteomalacia we 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 try to discuss about it osteomalacia Osteomalacia refers to a to a marked as uh, softening of your bone. Okay, most often caused by the several uh, several vitamin D deficiency. The softened bone um, of children or young adult with osteomalacia can lead to bowing during growth, especially in wet breathing. Okay, symptom bone pain and uh, muscle weakness. The softness. Um, okay, so vitamin D. So other option also we so we here also mention option osteoporosis. Pore means the the, the pores and uh, vitel, uh, whereas in you know, osteomalacia is the uh, bones are soft. Okay, the softness soft uh, done soft and osteoporosis that then uh, we can see on a bone pore pores. Okay. And osteoblast and osteoclast are two main cells uh, participating in those prog um, progresses. Uh, osteoclast are responsible for age bone uh, resorption. Okay, osteoclast, age bone uh, resorption, and osteoblast are responsible for new bone formation. Osteoblast, the cell. Okay. Next question. Um, cryotherapy uh, is uh, is the first aid treatment given. Okay, bleeding wound, spring, and dislocation. We need to uh, stop uh, stop uh, bleeding. The vessels. Uh, I think um, is cryotherapy is all of the you know, work with all of the above. Okay. Um, Cryotherapy, okay. What is cryotherapy? I think I'm not in this. It's a, uh, I think, um, cold therapy with the, I think, um, temperature we decrease um, that particular area, okay. <clears throat> okay, next question a sports injury can uh, be minimized by masses, okay. Uh, steam bath and all other option are are not a specific but um, I think work a particular specific area so masses is that um, the right answer okay and knee cartilage uh, injuries are commonly as associated with which type of game actually it's a football knee okay rehabilitation of the sports injury is done using uh, corrective exercise a lot of corrective exercise are there so the rehabilitation process is not only particular a um, a particular um, a one type of uh, one type of injury no rehabilitation of a whole program okay whole um, different type of uh, um, uh, injuries are included are there okay so a sports injury so a corrective exercise is the right answer uh, who uh, WHO World Health Organization concept of health focus on health as a, a sense of total well-being Freedom from ill disease and all. This is not actually the first answer, right? Okay. Immediate immediate symptom of uh, sprained uh, ankle is okay. Okay. Odema. Odema. Odema is a medical term meaning uh, fluid uh, retention within the body. It is uh, for, uh, formerly called uh, dropsy. It can result in, uh, in swelling or uh, Pufiness uh, in a affected area due to um, a buildup of mainly water in the body's tissue. Okay, 
you go further so here what is the answer um, immediate symptom of spin ankle is odema okay chronic sports injury are treated using hocche dio diathermy diathermy okay so what is diathermy a medical and surgical technique involve the production of heat in a part of the body by high frequency electric current okay what the uh, the the production of heat is in the part of the body okay this the stimulate the circulation relieve pain destroy unhealthy tissue destroy kora dai unhealthy tissue and cause bleeding bleeding vessels to clot okay cause bleeding process to clot so um next question shoulder dislocation injury are commonly associated with judo um okay rehabilitation of the sports injury is done using correct exercise already we discussed contrast bath is recommended for reducing swelling okay relaxation of the artery and ventricles is called diastole you all know so when systole that means um the blood flow uh, are um, are are towards the um, the body from the heart okay and and relaxation time this is a diastole okay and uh, which of the following does not bl uh, belong to the category of dope okay nicotine nicotine ergogenic aid of uh, caffeine is all in the um, dope, uh, category of dope uh, we can see ergogenic aid blood doping uh, or erythropoietin injection are considered powerful physiological ergogenic aids okay by virtue of their ability to increase red blood cell mass uh, and increase maximum aerobic aerobic capacity Par uh, pharmacological pharmacological ergogenic aids might be the uh, such as caffeine and amphetamines okay so it's clear uh, nicotine that's why we can uh, i think it's uh, in a in a cigarette we can found the fast treatment recommended for the long distance uh, exhausted athlete okay this is a common thing artificial resp respiration uh, for a complete treatment of a sports injury one should depend on depend upon physiotherapy and corrective exercise both are uh, the right answer okay uh, in case of a sports person gets a uh, uh, nauseating feeling he is advised to sit not lay down or stand okay which of the following is associated with uh, rickets okay pigeon chest okay here is the picture we can see the chest okay again in chest okay the ricket okay associated with the rickets uh, sprain is a, is an injury to ligament okay we we can see what is ligament and all of this you need to understand tendon and ligament okay tendon bind muscles to bone here is the the tendon okay muscle and is a bone and in between the binding muscle to the bone tendon here the tendon and ligament ligament bind bone to bone we have to uh, remember this thing this is a word okay next question <clears throat> so yeah, sprain is an injury where ligament okay a disease or injury affecting the wall of the blood vessel okay um is directly hemorrhage break uh, in a bone as a result of injury of of um, pathological weakness is called a fracture stress fracture stress uh, fracture is common among young children stress fra fracture is common among a dancer and athlete okay quickest and most effective way to stop bleeding direct pressure on the wound direct pressure uh, uh, quickest okay you should uh, uh, i think uh, try to understand the question quickest and most effective way to stop bleeding 
okay which of the following is more uh, severe uh, sprain okay not a strain a sprain okay and here which of the following comes under category of wounds both as as uh, abrasion and la uh, lacertion lacertion right wounds caused by a sharp object such as knife okay uh, we um, understand and okay which type of first aid um, be given to a person suffering from heat stroke have the patient lie down in a cool uh, cool place okay full form of cpr uh, cardio pulmonary uh, resuscitation okay diuretic this is very interesting term increases increases the body's output of urine okay athletic food we uh, is the cause of uh, fungus is a fungus uh, shine splint lower leg occurs in lower leg which of the following is a heart tissue bone of course uh, is the answer and the typical um, uh, fiber in the adult may be i think um, 50 to 7 70 mm uh, the process of uh, urine atp categorize okay creatine phosphate um, the primary muscles here the all the questions you can see uh, are really going um, taking a lot of time so i have to i think uh, the video in between in short time so you can see and if you need to pause it okay and uh, if it is helpful then um, then i think uh, um, write down my comments box and then i can think it is helpful or not i don't know so all the questions are there okay um, which of which blood cell are formed in a uh, lymphatic glands wbc volume of the breath per minute is around 7 liters Okay, volume of the air breath per minute is also known as respiratory minute volume. Okay, uh, tidal volume. The all term you should understand. Okay, one by one. It's not difficult. Mm, uh, central nervous system consists of brain and spinal cord. It's a very easy question. Which blood cells have no nucleus? RVC is of uh, the. Mm, uh, <clears throat> okay. So we already, uh, I think, show. I already show. 100 questions and i should stop there and at the end of my <clears throat> my video um i i i am really happy um someone i think uh, try to um, say thank me um for my previous video so on previous on video and that's why i am going to uh, going to do a next video so if it is helpful and uh, and please tell me um, what how i uh, i think uh, do a uh, lot of difference and uh, make a video uh, for you uh, and for your help okay so thanks a lot very uh, i think and i see you in the next video the next okay thank you